Hey guys, so before we get into the worm bin video, as you can see, I'm actually kind of fixing to tap into it a little bit here. We are going to plant a mulberry tree that we just picked up. So quick and simple, nothing special. Raised bed mix. Okay. a little bit. There we go. I'm going to kind of fuck the root ball up a little bit. All I'm trying to do is break off some of the dirt to get to the roots. Because as you see, it's a little root bound, not too bad. Say, do you want to take one hand and hold that for me right quick? I'm going to take some of these this bedding out of the worm bins here. Kind of mix it in a little bit. Give them some nutrients. Probably have a couple of worms in there, but if I do, it's okay. All right, babe, you want to hold this up for me real quick? Yeah, I brought you a drink too. Uh -huh. Hey, guys. A little bit more of this down there. Put some more in here in a little bit. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, a little tree got a little weight. But I love mulberries. That's okay. Some more of the mix. And I'll set the tree in. Alright, set it right there just like that. Okay, hold that for me. And now we're going to finish it off. y'all stick with us we will also be making uh mulberry jam and a good bit of other stuff out of the berries off this tree as we get them oh yes and if anybody has any recipes for anything made with mulberries please share oh, yeah by all means if you guys like these things again let us know i happen to like mulberries remember when i was a kid we had a big old mulberry tree in our backyard we used to go out there all the time and eat them it was great. We never, we never ate dinner because of it. Well, sort of. We still ate dinner, but just not as much. Yeah, I can't see you not eating dinner. Funny. You guys, we've seen the plates he eats, right? Only because of you. <laughs> and then we're gonna put some mulch on here to help lock in moisture on these trees. But as we water it down, you know, it'll pack down a little bit. But that's it, mulberry tree done. Now let's make the worm bins. Okay guys, so real quick update. Um, all that stuff Chris threw in here was lettuce. We got lettuce growing. We have some peppers in the back. The yellow squash is doing great. I actually did pick one the other day that was very tasty. I'm sorry I didn't share that with you guys. Now our cucumbers are definitely taking off. Look at that. And we got a bunch of cucumbers already growing. There we go, guys. See them there? And over here, our onions are doing really well. There I am. Hi, guys. So we got that over there. We got tons of blackberries coming in. Our tomatoes, they're crazy again, guys. And we haven't even barely started all that natural fish fertilizer we use. But you can see down here, Don't we got a tomato here tomato down there we got some tomatoes right there and, and pretty much every plant has some on it um, grapes are still doing great we have uh, the flowers are blooming and um, I, I showed them the cucumbers and then we had this new uh, it's not new it's like a couple years old but it is flowering 
So hopefully we get some time. Yeah, for the first time. So hopefully we get some grapes out of that. And we got the peppers. We've already had some banana peppers. We got some more growing right there. We have a bell pepper right there growing. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what we got going on the trees. All right, guys. So here we are at the olive tree. So the flowers have bloomed already. And there we go. That little ball. That's an olive. And come down here. We got the peach tree. And we still have some peaches over here. So we'll see how they do. Got that one. There's one here. Yeah, we got a few and a couple up there. So a new addition I could not walk away from when I saw it. I love blueberries. My stepmom actually makes really like a really good blueberry cobbler. So we saw this. It already had tons of fruit on it. Um, so I'm so excited for them to actually ripen up and having this year after year. Here we go. We got a little bay leaf plant. Um, you've seen in some of the videos, Chris makes stew. So do I quite often in the winter. And, and we do use bay leaves quite often. So why not get our own little plant and uh, have to save ourselves from continuing buying it from the store? Hey guys, so we're going to show you guys how to make a quick worm bin, which is great for two things. Vermicomposting for your gardens, and then two, worms for fishing. So you can always have a supply of worms whenever you just want to go catfishing or whatever else. So y'all stay tuned and enjoy this one here. So all you need to do is add some peat moss. It's going to be a little dusty, probably best to do it outside as you can see, but oh well. Alright, you want to come in closer? You want to get you know, about an inch worth of the peat moss in there. And I'm always doing seed sprouts, which I've got some outside. And then, I'll just cover it with a nice quarter inch or so just on top. Then slowly mix it in. And the good thing about it is, is if you needed more mix for a plant or a sprouting or a cutting or anything like that, just get a little bit out of the worm bin and you're good to go. Okay. And then just put in some water. hydrate everything mix it up you don't want it really really wet but you want it nice and uh moist for the worms because they don't really like really really dry soil because they breathe through their skin and need a little bit more water all right so quick and simple now you see everything's all in there. All we'll do, we're gonna take the worms, make sure we have like the sticks out. Every once in a while you'll get that in there. I thought that was a dead worm. No, <laughs> right, we're just gonna put them in. Just like that. And then give them a day or so, kind of let them move down. Give these guys a uh, day or so. And then what we will do is drop a uh, banana in there and feed them. Now, what I also do with these, with this uh, bedding as well, is to replenish it, I'll move the worms over on one side and feed them over there. And then as they start moving over, I'll take the worm castings and the uh, soil on the one side, and I will use it for most of my transplants, like doing the uh, pineapples, like you see right there. Cuttings, like you'll see here, and these are all crowns off of store-bought pineapples and various things like that. And over time, I will gradually take this and mix it with some raised bed mix and into the containers they go. Uh, we're also gonna go ahead and do uh, some potatoes and see how those go. But uh, we do a lot of propagation. I will buy stuff from stores and I will let it grow and see what happens. Um, so you guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this, got something out of it. Uh, again, you've got fishing bait, you've got fresh gardening soil for your uh, garden. So uh, 
definitely uh, something to do. And I just keep these guys in my garage. And they sit right there behind uh, my garage door. So I just open it up, put food scraps in, and ready to go.